Welcome to the extra video that was showcasing the child garden in this in this let's play. Okay, so what what I just picked up up right there was a chow key. He, that chow key, if if you get to the level oh, without dying, and, and if you have the key, then you can simply enter the chow garden. And and that's pretty much how it goes. Sonic Heroes would take this concept and it can be annoying. Ugh. But now we are ha going to the Chow world. Well, basically this game, well, yeah, the Chow Garden, I should say. Okay, so when you start off, this circular room, right? Uh, yeah, the circular room um, is pretty much the hub. The hub. Ah, I can't speak today. And now, alright, the first door that you're going to enter, if this is your first time, is basically... This is the first child garden that you're going to come across. As the other two child garden and they're basically open if if you do a certain thing which I'll get into later. But this is where I put all my all my chow here. They're, they this garden is rather relaxing cuz you know heaven state it it's, it has relaxing music and I like it. The uh, I'm I'm having a hard time with detail, but after you hatch your first chow egg, because as what normally when you enter a garden, it's basically two eggs. Like so, but once you enter the, uh, but once you've done that, you gain you gain access to the kindergarten, and this is where you're basically to buy stuff from the black market. It, there's also other doors there. I mean, I'm not going to show off all of them, um, but, okay, so, we now have our green egg, the, the chaos drives are here, and, I gotta say, chaos drives are much better there than animals, they raise your child's stats, but they don't, don't put animal parts on them, which I like, I don't want animal parts, thank you very much. But after a couple shakes, the chow hatches. I'm guessing, I'm guessing having, having fun with an inanimate, I guess having fun with an inanimate object, meaning the egg, egg will incubate it the being faster. Ah, whatever. Okay, so once your chow is hatched, you, you would have to go to the kindergarten. And, uh, well, I do, normally I do two things in the kindergarten. For one, I go to the health center. This is where you're going to find out your child's stats and stuff. Uh, for example, this guy is really good in power, but everything else sucks. You can also, oh, hit the right trigger and this personality is crybaby. Okay, then. And, and, you also have... You also have, you also go there if your child's sick, even though, oh, it rarely happens. But here, we're also this is where you also need to name your child. Yeah, it's not that much of a hindrance, but let's see what my random child name would be. Yes. Really, Yes. So I'm gonna name it myself and. I'm kind of feeling random today. I want to name it some some awesome. So I figured, why not? Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I'm kind of all over the place, guys. As I do so, apologize. He's and yeah, Moxie. As far as changes go, not much has changed, although th it does add, add quite a bit of stuff. Alright, but this door is pr basically the principal's desk, and this door is basically the classroom where the, where you get, where, you, where it teaches the child new abilities, like how to draw, uh, how to play instruments, stuff like that. You can also win instruments, you can also win in prizes through races and karate matches. Well, I think it's just racist. Cause, 
am actually before I actually before I take it before I even take care of the child I had I have to trade in this is egg top uh, for let's say money yep I am such a great child keeper all I am and all I am am uh, all I am worried about how it is money not so much my child itself well, that that I'm a great father <laughs> uh, all right I'm basically just showing off what you can buy here you can buy fruit seeds other stuff like an empty can and a mushroom where I think it increases its intelligence yeah just for clarification guys the the stuff that you need to learn unlike Sonic Adventure 1 this one is rather more complex and a bit more complicated so I'm not gonna go over everything although I am gonna go over what's noticeably new and I'm just going into the dark garden right here basically a hellish theme I'll even go on and say that this area has a pool of blood my god these things are savages <laughs> yeah that that machine there is the uh, uh, transporter where you can once again transfer your child to the to the GBA and through the Game Boy Advance and and the GameCube although if you're playing the HD version it's basically the departure machine okay so now uh, where is he where is he there he is all right so the new the, the the most noticeable addition is morality right he the best way to actually evolve your child through morality is mash the B button just so you can pet your child oh oh bet the heart will then appear it'll and it'll be changing colors not to mention it also change in form you want to keep doing this until it reaches is the well you know change there's also a glitch with the chaos drives and animals if you put it near the chow oh but not to the point where you actually give it to him like per se you can actually glitch the chaos drives to actually the chow will take it but at the same time you'll get it back so you can pretty much feed it infinite drives is as much as you want it's actually the best way to do it other than grinding even for chaos drives because it's rather tedious I gotta say even with the addition of a of a level select via world map have it's still tedious and I think that's enough yeah it's enough but the last thing I want to show off is what uh, we have uh, for mini games. So let, we have two things. We're gonna show off. Uh, uh, the first thing I'm gonna show off here is the Chow races, making a return here from Sonic Adventure One. Not only you know more improved. Not to mention, and it's also it's all once again it's also pretty much necessary if you want to get. I like the if you want to get all the emblems all right yeah that's a lame name I gave it Robert hmm <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna do the jewel race spoiler warning I fail there's also another child I named Robert, but unfortunately I trade. Unfortunately, I got rid of him. Yeah. Yeah, getting rid of your child, especially with that sad music playing in the background, make makes you feel like a dick afterwards, you know. All right, so I'm pretty much doing the the highest level. Well, in this in this championship the blue one is definitely the biggest threat here my chow isn't really he fast enough oh yeah okay so what's new here is 
is a stamina bar. You can hit the A button and give your child a short burst of speed. But the, but but you gotta be careful though because not only does stamina uh, not only does it take like a large chunk, but it also drains on its own. So you better watch out for that. This little room right here is basically a uh, matching game per se. If you get it right, you get to move on. But if but if you don't get it, but if they don't get it right, they get bopped in the head. Head getting stunning them. Great way to make people feel like winners. Oh yeah. If you also, I forgot to mention, if you beat a, if you beat a, a, a hero type, a potential, a potential hero type chow. Oh, with a with a dark chow, it'll also turn dark that way. But it's really not recommended. You also can throw the egg, egg, egg if you don't want to, you know, rock it or, or, you know, carry it at least. He's and you want to be a chow abuser, then I recommend it. <laughs> Uh, oh man, I'm such a monster. <laughs> okay, yeah, I obviously didn't win. However, unlike the next game I'm going to show off, if I at least don't, you know, at least I don't show that my, at least I don't show Robert here that he has low self, that he has low confidence. And okay, so head back into the waterfall, and we now have Chow Karate. Now Chow Karate is basically, it's not. It wasn't really introduced in Adventure One DX. This is probably the only he. This is probably the only time that it's ever been in, and the only time, because after this game, I mean, there was never really a Chow Garden. Well, if you count Sega Superstars at least, but as far as mainstream titles go. No, this is it. It's and this Chow Garden is actually greatly improved from Adventure One. But now Chow Karate. Okay, so Chow Karate. It. Think of it as a luck based, <laughs> as a luck based fighting game. And the only button that you have to press is the A button, and if your Chow is not confident enough. A uh, fan, well, he's getting, and my child's getting unlucky. Yeah, <laughs> my child is so lazy. Not to mention, this guy pretty much owns me. Or strength. Yeah, apologies for my uh, misspelling on strength. But that's probably because there are so many spaces. Is that I could, you know, work with. So I'm just gonna try again. And I'm just proving that this child right here, here doesn't have any self confidence. Or. Yeah, confidence. <laughs> I'm also here to, here to show that if your child is like really powerful, like this is only the beginner round, but. But this would, this is what would happen if it was like a expert or or hard. If my child was more powerful, well, than the chow, well, that's that's normally powerful. Then you can take him out in like one shot. But yeah, the beginner's round. Uh, you're gonna be taking on like, you know, beginner child. They're rather easy. But they know how to dodge. Like that. So. Just be careful. Come on. Do it. Come on. I'll punch him. There we go. Yep. <laughs> I'm basically. I'm basically. My child is feeling like a winner. I try. He's trying again. And in a round that's significantly easier than the last. 
because I did he did I did a karate match but it was on beginner uh you can knock him out of the ring that and that's pretty much all I really need to say yeah I've really got nothing to talk about because it's Chow Karate he, how much is there to talk about other than what's new and what's that's been improved like I said the Chow the Chow uh, the way on how the Chow Garden works in this game is rather complex so if you want specifics look up a guide like game facts or hippo tank or whatever just just look up the point is look up a guide because I don't know all this crap if it's way too complex ah but now we are on unhappy who has an apple for his head can he take him out in one shot let's see up oh, nope BAM low self-confident in chow oh is low self-confident <laughs> Grand Champion and yeah and I get an emblem sweet that was completely unintentional okay so that is it for the chow garden guys hey so next time we meet we are gonna be I'm gonna be showing off the last of what this game has to offer so I'm Game Man 5 to 4 and see you then